Hey guys, this is Lady of Crypto and welcome to Cryptos and Coffee. We have coffee and I'll be bringing you your weekly dose of crypto goodness. The format's going to be slightly different this week. I'm trying out a few new things, so if you guys could let me know what you think in the comments, that would be awesome. This week I have a simple homemade cappuccino by the lovely Mrs. Lady of Crypto. So yeah, let's get started. Please remember, nothing in this video is financial advice. This is for educational purposes only. You should always do your own research and never invest money that you cannot afford to lose. Before we get started, I just want to talk about 8cap who sponsor my videos. So 8cap are a regulated Australian broker that offers a huge range of crypto pairs to trade with great leverage options to suit everyone's liking. They are one of the biggest innovators in the crypto space and they're integrating with TradingView very soon so you'll be able to trade directly from your charts. You can get started by signing up using the link below, it's super quick and easy so check them out. This week has been quite interesting for us DGENs. So Elon Musk has bought Twitter, the Central African Republic has voted to adopt Bitcoin as its legal tender, Panama is legalizing crypto and it's gonna be tax free. And also Telegram ha now has a bot that allows people to buy and send Bitcoin to each other on Telegram. Although this could also be huge for Telegram scammers as well. So it's a bit of a double edged sword. You might be thinking, why do I care if Elon Musk has bought Twitter? Well, some people think it's a step forward with regards to free speech, less censorship, and hopefully the end of those crypto scam bots that we unfortunately have to deal with. Some people also speculate that the Twitter algorithm works against any tweets that are mentioning crypto. So Elon Musk is a bit of a crypto degen with an obvious soft spot in his heart for Doge. There are speculating rumors at the moment that he will integrate some form of Doge payment onto Twitter. Since the news has broken, Doge has pumped over 30%. While I do think that this could be a positive change, I think he will receive a lot of pushback from officials. Europe has also already warned him about not violating any of the rules on Twitter. Let's see how that evolves. The most exciting news this week is the big step towards a mass adoption. So I've spoke about the Central African Republic and Panama, but there are more. So Fidelity has added Bitcoin to their 401k pension plans. And when this is implemented, it could cause mass buying. Goldman Sachs have also introduced their first Bitcoin backed loan. Mass adoption is fantastic for the long term growth of crypto. So this is very exciting for the industry. Well, that was a lot. I'm not going to bore you with any more crypto news, but I am going to give you some crypto tips. So I spot, spoke a lot about GMT this last week and it has just made new all time highs. Full disclosure, I am an early investor, but I wanted to say, remember not to ape in. Coins retrace and a retrace is likely to happen soon. It's important to not get sucked into the FOMO and the hype. Be patient and find the right entry point. That's about it for today, guys. So let me know your thoughts on this week's news, especially Elon. Please like and subscribe to my channel. You can also hit the little bell to get notifications and follow me on Twitter at Lady of Crypto One. Have a great week, trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and I will see you soon. Also, follow my friend Bitcoin Archives' new YouTube channel. You can find the link here somewhere.